Morning viewers, welcome to another wonderful episode of Burnett Life. I hope you all are doing well. Today is a new day, okay? Yes, it is. What are we doing today? We're gonna go to the pool. No, we're not. Um, no, I'm not sure. We might. Um, Christopher is not here. He is over at his Nana's and spending time with his Nana. All right. Um, but yeah, he and his cousin Noah are spending time together. Christopher and Noah are about the same age. Noah is 15. Christopher is 14. Noah's All of our. I'm sorry. Noah's a year older. Yes. Um, that's why I just said. Um, but in numbers. But um, me and my sisters, our kids, they're in steps. <laughs> oh, excuse me. They're in steps. I don't, I don't know how many um, grandkids. Let me see. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Am I? Yeah, seven. Seven, right? Seven or eight. 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 Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My parents have 14 grandkids. Yes. My kids have... Um, yeah, you get it. <laughs> I'm not your numbers girl. I used to be though, but, um, I mean, I still can if I, um, you know, apply my brain. I don't feel like doing it because my brain is ticking. I'm, I'm up this morning and I have work to do, but, um, yeah, so all our kids are in steps right after one another. So yeah, it's a, it is a blessing, but I'm here this morning. Oh, what else are we doing today? I am going to braid my hair. Yes, I got my wooly hair. <laughs> and I'm Christine, you better be nice. Be nice. Why? Do y'all like to like joke me and make fun of me? That's not kind. It really no, isn't. Wig. No. I'm doing my hair. I told you I'm braiding my hair. But what a squirrel got to do with it? I don't pay attention. That's not nice. But I took my hair, my braids out last night. I'm going to wash and braid my hair. I got Miss Kristen in the couch over there. Um, Miss Christina is prepping her breakfast this morning. You go, girly. Um, but it's a new day. Today we're cleaning up the classroom. <laughs> we? We're doing inventory. Yes, we, mm -mm. the three of us. Yes, Christopher was supposed to be here, but- um, Whoa, we're waiting. No, I'm not waiting. I'm gonna get it done. I had it planned to do it today, so it's gonna get done today. So that's what's happening. But, um. I just want to encourage, you know, some folks out there, all right? Let me just tell y'all how good God is, okay? Um, God is an amazing God. Put him first, and he will always make sure you are his priority, all right? Um, I don't want to go too much into details. Help me, Heavenly Father, please. So I'm not. Um, but I woke up in, like, you know, not so good type of spirits. I should say... God told me a few things, okay? Um, and this morning, I made a short, you know, I said, um, my magic is this. You know, I've been through a lot, especially as a married woman. Um, especially women through in marriages, we go through a lot, all right? Um, I wouldn't say, mm, I don't want to bring up no types of... Um, no types of old feelings, but I just want to say to anyone who, and not just married folks, okay, to people who are being attacked by others, you know, in a deceiving way, pick up your Bible, pick this up. This is my magic right here, and it sure isn't dark. This is light, L-I-G-H-T, magic. Okay, when I, when someone does something to me, all I have to do is pick up this thing right here. All right, even when someone doesn't even do something to me, I pick this thing up every day. I pick up this Bible every day. The word of God is it. You feel me? And let me just tell you how even better God is. I did a YouTube short not too long ago. Okay, when I opened my Bible to read, to find a scripture to read, it sent me my eyes. God drew my eyes straight to Psalm 7. Matter of fact, when I started the short, it was like this at the beginning of the book of Psalms. And then I don't know how, but as soon as I opened up the book again, 
Psalm 7, a plea for protection from the enemies. You feel me? I don't got to say two twos. I just get on my knees. I open up this book and God sends his soldiers to those who want to inflict harm and pain in my life. Let me tell you why. Reason being, um, the type of person who I am, God made me who I am. He orchestrated my life. Okay. Um, the way I am living, it is all because of God. When I want to sleep till two o'clock in the morning, or I mean, till two o'clock in the afternoon, um, God gave me that right to do that. Why? Because he's the one who has ordained my life to be the way it is. There is nothing that you or anybody else who is watching can do about it. If God wants change in my life, God will do the changing in my life. And we have discussions about it. Why? Because that is my father in heaven. I'm feeling some type of weight this morning. You, you know, I want to like get angry, but the Holy Spirit keeps speaking, keeps speaking to me. Child, calm your heart. Let me handle it. Go ahead, my Lord. You do it, Father. Let me just take deep breaths and breathe. Let my Father handle it because I'm no longer stressing myself out. God is doing everything. All I have to do is pick up my book for confirmation. And I sit back and I watch the rest. And that's it. So this is just um, an encouragement for you. If you are going through something in your life, if someone else is inflicting harm or pain, one, in your marriage, two, in your life, you pick up the book. It don't got nothing to do with like um, cheating or nothing like that. But if you feel my drift, but um, God does it all and he handles all the business that's it but it is a new day um so yeah psalm 7 y'all psalm 7 it was open psalm 7 it plead for protection from the enemies god you are so amazing and i will always preach the word of god every time i get a chance if i feel it in my heart i will say it and i've been sitting there from day one okay and don't let people if you cuss if I mean, if you are a sinner, you know what I'm saying? You got to, um, you know, try to fix that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your father about it. Because we're all sinners. I am not perfect myself. All right? I am a sinner and I am doing my best so I do not sin. You know? Um, how am I a sinner? When God said, don't eat that extra piece of cake. I still eat that extra piece of cake. And I'd be like, Father God, I want it so bad. And I go take a piece of that piece of cake. I have sinned against God. Okay? Knowing that I am full, that's called gluttony. And that is a sin. Yes, it is. So there is nobody perfect on this planet. But I am just saying to you, if you are a sinner, do not feel bad. Because you think God does not hear you. Um, do your best. That's why I can say. Put the Lord first. And he will always, always protect you. You see how... Our kids, um, if you are a parent, let me put it in this. Let me make this analogy for you. You see how your kids are sometimes to do certain things bad and they are trying to do better. And you see that they're trying their best to do better. But yet sometimes they forget and they slip up. And, but you still have mercy for them and love for them. That love and mercy is greater when it comes to the Father above who created the heaven, the firmament, okay? And this land we live on is not round. It is flat, okay, with firmament, all right? That's what it is. That's what he does. He's the one who made it, okay? And he will protect you, all right? That's just what I have to say. And that was nine minutes of glorifying the Lord. Yes, it is. Thank you, God in heaven. But today, 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 what are we doing? Um, whew. Thank you, God. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you. Yep. But it is a new day, ladies and gents. It's a new day. I was just, whew. When people want to start, bruh. And that's another thing. I will not 
I will not stop posting because God placed this in this camera right here. What I'm doing today, God been behind me since since my kids were young. And there's a video out there where um, I don't even know the name of the of the the title of the video, but um, I will insert it here. Hopefully, when I'm watching. Yeah, I wouldn't start it here. So the video that's here that I just inserted, that is a video of me saying how I wanted to join YouTube. And sometime along, and it was Kristen. Kristen was, in, she was a toddler. You know, I think she was like one or two. And even before that, when we had Christopher, you know, God been placing it on my heart to start YouTube. And because of fear, you know, I was like, no, I don't want to do it, Lord. What would people say? Bump! What people say is what would God say? Don't worry about what people would say. You know, I was reading um, some comments on TikTok. This one lady, she was like, where are all the black moms? Where are all the black mom um, vloggers? You know, the black mom content creators. I was like, we're all here. And I was just reading the other comments and whatnot. And people were posting, oh, I have, I have, um, what did she say? I have content, but I'm too afraid to post it. That was my attitude back then. And imagine if I would have just not even given fear a thought in my mind and just started posting and recording. Where would I have where would I be today? You know what I'm saying? But everything happens for a reason. But if you hear this, all right, and you are afraid to post, do not be afraid. You know why? Because we as human beings, we all live in this thing called the flesh, okay? The flesh, all right? And we are all living this life together. We're all experiencing some type of adversity in our lives. And um, do not be afraid because fear is just false evidence. My thing is, oh my gosh, what would people say? What would people say about me? What would people say about me? How would they feel? How would they think? Right, I am 42, 41, no 41, because Craig is 42. I'm 41, I was born 1983. I'm 41 years old, okay? And um, where is I going, Lord? I don't give two flips what people think about me, okay? I don't care. Um, what I do make sure I do is show people love and show people respect. That's what I do do. And I talk about the Lord and introduce people to God. That's it, you know. But um, I'm no longer afraid of who I am. Just know who you are. Know what this book, know what God's word says about you, okay? Do not be afraid. Don't. But, yeah. Let me just stop chattering and get my day started. So, I'm about to, um, I think I'm taking my... Yeah, I think I might take my kids to the pool. I don't think... No, I can't. I can't. So I'm about to do my hair today, y'all. I'm about to wash it. After we're done with the classroom, after I'm done editing, I'm going to wash my hair. It's pretty like this, right? I was looking at it last night. I took out my braids. I couldn't, like, um, twist it. So I just left it the way it is. And I'm like, man... I'm just going to um, put my nightcap on and go to bed. I was so tired last night, guys. But it's a new day. I keep saying that. I keep repeating myself. I'm about to change my clothes. You're not showering this morning? No, because I'm going to be in the house all day today. I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to do today. I really don't know what I'm doing five minutes from now. Well, five minutes, um, I don't know. Only God knows. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Only God knows. I just tell my father, he handles my business. It's a new day! Yes, it is! Thank you, my Lord in heaven. <sighs> Wake me up this morning, Father. Y'all, the garden is so nice. The house is so quiet. When, when my kids are not here, the house is just different. It has a different feel, a different vibe. What am I going to do when my children go to college? What am I going to do? 
live my best life. <laughs> like for real. I'm gonna miss them though. I'm gonna miss them. Oops, let me not break this. Mm. Whew. Let me make up my bed. I have to, you know, be an example because I told my kids, if your beds are not made, you're gonna write a hundred times. I am clean, I love clean space. So Christina, she came up in here this morning, your bed isn't made, make it up, or write a hundred times. Well, let's make up this bed and get our lives together, okay? So don't worry, don't worry. All the wives out there, don't worry, don't cry. Stop crying, don't shed no more tears. I was over here shedding tears, bruh. Shedding tears for days. Even on camera, shedding tears. Don't shed no tears. Unless they're tears of joy. That's it. But don't you shed no tears. You better. <laughs> if I would have known. I mean, I knew, but I was just in my feelings. Don't be in your feelings. Let God do all your fighting. Let him do all your fighting. I don't fight, man. God does all my fighting. What am I doing? Ding, ding. Showered. Oh, amazing. Okay. Put some of this Versace on. Pass me my own be worse. Go shower. I'm good. Come on, bro. I'm hungry. Make us banana bread. I meant cornbread. Please. My belly, like right here, is starting to like lap over. I don't think the viewers really care. Like when I don't have on like undies and stuff, we just start to, you know. I think that viewers really care, 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 care. I'm gonna get back to corporate, a corporate. I'm gonna get back in the gym. I'm gonna work out. Look how short she is. I'm not short. Bro, what are you doing? Brushing my, taking care of myself. Is that a problem? Yes, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, I do that too, but like, come on now. It's Friday. Today is not Friday. Yes, it is. Today is Tuesday. Today is Friday. What calendar are you on? What calendar are you on, bro? Today's Friday. That actually worked. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, y'all. Y'all be watching this video tomorrow. tomorrow. Can you stop, please? So I'm about to look in the classroom, but first we need to eat. <laughs> Time is ticking. Is she over there chatting? What time is it? I don't know, like 12 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. Yeah, like 2 o'clock. It's 1. Here, watch this. You see? I have a pen, right? Ready? I shot the pen. Hair pen. The hair pen. It's fun. I can shoot it wherever. I'm very hungry. Stop. Please don't. What? But no! My weapon! Goodness. The house is so boring. It's so quiet today. How? It's not quiet? No. I'm gonna go, my intrusive thoughts are kicking in because I'm gonna go pick that big old watermelon. You are what? My intrusive thoughts. I'm gonna go pick that big old she watermelon. She wants to <gasps> and bite into I need it. to show you guys the watermelon. The watermelon. They are growing, guys. We have like three ones. They're three like now. this in length and like this fat. Be chubby. In size, they are. <laughs> Be chubby, chubby. And Christina wants to pluck them. You better touch. I already did. I already plugged one of them when I went outside today. Since it was both. Since it was right by the fence, I already plugged one. Come on, mom. Let's go. You're wasting time just by sitting there. Mm -hmm. I got a fart. All right, let's go, y'all. We have to um. Ooh, the girl, you pretty. What? Even with your hair. Because I am viewers. 
You're not tall. Yes, I am. Christina wears a size 10, y'all, in shoes. I took her to the shoe store yesterday to get some I tennis shoes. I have a 10 and a half, bro. But they, they didn't have a 10 and a half, so she just stuck with the 10. Yeah. She used to wear a 10. She, I used to wear a 10. But then it's like I grew into my body and my feet shrunk. Like, I used to be a 10, a 10 and a half, I think. But Christina's a size 10. I was hoping and praying she was a size 9 so that she grows out of her shoes to go to moi. In your dream, let's go. <laughs> Firepower. <laughs> Did everybody make up their beds? Yes. Did everyone do their chores? Yes. Where's Kristen? Kristen. Please get my white pillow off the floor. Thank you. Come on, let's go make the banana. Bread. Kristen, I hope you unpack it, the um dishwasher. Ah! Bro, why'd you remind her? She has to write a hundred times now. Okay, get get writing, Kristen. Why? Because it says it right here. I was just about to. No, no, no you gotta do it. No, no, no man. <laughs> the dishwasher should be empty in the morning. It is midday. And child so, woke up at eight o'clock. Please get to it. I sent Crystal bed early last night because she was she, she, she was doing too much. Bro. Just kept whining. I was like, Nah, sis, I can't handle this. Good night. Oh, I don't use eggs anymore. Then cross up the eggs then. Yeah, I will. So, I'm about to make some cornbread for my kiddos. They're hungry. Um, I am also hungry. I don't know what I'm eating. Mm, I think I'm just going to eat. Me. Oh, your excuse. I think I'm about to eat a sandwich. Ew. Boy. Because it's, it's already 12, 1 o'clock. I have to go downstairs. We got to clean the classroom. We have to do inventory on the books, What's the supplies, inventory? and whatnot. Check to see everything that we have. Wait, did, do you still have your computer so I can see my report card? Yes. Can I grab your computer? Um, so that you're supposed to see my report card? I will get to it. Um, um, inventory. And we have to mop the floor in the classroom. I just want the classroom to be done. And today is the day. That I chose, you know, for the classroom to be, you know, completed. Um, because school starts in two weeks and I'm not trying to be rushing. I don't want to worry about the classroom. I just want to wake up and school starts and that's it. But Did I'm you hungry. Did ever call my doctor? I need I to make... I took that test like, um, the, 5th, the 16th yesterday. Yes, I need to make an appointment. Relax your nerves. It will get done, okay? Because yes, we're going to six flags. Ah! Ah, ah, this is coming out tomorrow. Viewers, we're going to six. Ah. Stop. Did I tell you? Oh, when? yeah. We're, we're going, going to, to six. six like worse. This is not coming out tomorrow. This is coming out Friday. <laughs> exactly. Well, Friday I know night. it's coming out Friday, but like. Yeah, so we're going to Six Flags. Flags. The kids um, haven't been. Um, it's been years. Who is that? Oh. Go ahead. The kids haven't been. They, you know, the last time I've been on Six Flags was like decades. I think you want to answer. Here. Hello. Hi, auntie. What's up, boo thing? Uh, nothing much. I just wanted to call and thank you for bringing the clothes for me and Christopher. Oh, you're welcome, my love. Uh, I will see you guys later today. Today? Yeah, Aren't you guys you. sleeping there tomorrow too? No. Okay. Dang it, Chris was coming back. I will see you later on today, boo. Okay, I'll see you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. So I dropped Christopher off over at my mom's house yesterday. And um, they were supposed to spend like a day together, go to the movies, my mom, Noah, and Christopher. And um, my mom was like, when we got there, she was like, I would like for the boys to have a sleepover. I'm like, what the flip? Why <laughs> you say nothing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I was like, they don't have anything to wear. So I just ran to the um Burlington, to Burlington and got pajamas, Bam. slippers, undies, undies, toothbrush. I didn't get toothbrushes. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Oh, because they're all soft. Uh huh. They were all soft. So I got undies, pajamas, and toothbrush. I mean, undies, pajamas, and and slippers for the pool. So, dang. <sighs> yeah, I got work to do, y'all. So, I might go pick them up today on my mom. 
hopefully can drop them no, off. I go to no, I don't want to go nowhere. I got stuff to do. I gotta do my hair. Yeah. So we're going to Six Flags later Friday. on Friday. By the time you see us, we'll be on our way back home. Bro, how come I couldn't say anything but you did? No, because I was thinking. Okay, now block that out so I can say it. No, because my thinking. Keywords, we're gonna go to Six Flags Friday. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, do your thing, girl. Do your and thing. And say we're gonna get a Six Flags Friday. I'm not this Friday. Anything. This Friday. Run. Yes. A Friday. Oh my goodness, Kristen be doing the most, bro. You have drool. Okay. I'm so, not doing the most. All right, but... three fifty. Stop now. Damn. Let me. I'm not doing the most. Do not holler at me. Don't come start. I'm gonna go watch TV since you have to ride. Dead time, eight o'clock again. Is that what you want? Huh? Excuse me, Jit. I'm sorry. No. Okay. No. You have to ride. Yeah, you do have to ride, Kristen. Come and you gotta unpack it. So that's double work. So you gotta write a hundred times. I'm clean. I love a clean space. And you still gotta unpack the dishwasher, sis. It was like an hour to write yesterday, viewers. Yeah, it's just stay focused and just write. And also, it would help with your hair, my girl. Oh, what the hell was that? that? Hurts. Stop! Don't hit me like that. That hurt. Don't hit me like that. You your dry ass hands. That hurt. Ah, yeah. Okay, stop. That's enough. Damn. Get me. Kristen, that's enough. Hey, Kristen. No. Get here. But she hit me. Okay. Christina, that's enough. You have to stop hitting me. What's my ear hurt? Don't hit me like that no more. Do you hear me? Yeah, no. Just don't hit me like that. I didn't hit you. Bro, you didn't hit me. Like, I didn't hit you. Did I? I don't remember hitting her. <laughs> I did. Did I? No, you did exactly. Kristen have to act like she don't got no strength, y'all. Kristen is strong as hell. No, yes, she is. Kristen is strong. <laughs> I just let Haley just because, bro. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, but you also need to cut her fingernails. I'm not cutting them. Why she not? can do it herself. Can I help you make the cornbread? Here, just here. No. Melt that. Put that in the bowl, please. That's it? Yeah, melt this. So for our cornbread. You corn use a bread, stick of butter? Yeah, you just stick. I probably accept it. Don't just don't do it again. That could hurt, Kristen. I told you I was hungry. No, I don't think you're a weakling. I, do, I know. You cry every single day I know life. you are strong. Just like stop acting lazy. Excuse me? You, you heard me? Wonderful football. Mom, I need my deodorant. I don't. I can't find mine. That's the problem. I was looking yesterday. No, I'm not. Stop. Stop what? Um, can you make, can you cut some fries? I'm trying to make some, can you cut some potatoes? I'm trying to make some fries. I don't want fries. Bro, okay. I'm bored. And I got to cook today too. My husband said I don't cook. I do make cook. Make a scene, I don't cook, yesterday. I'm clean. <laughs> because, yes, no, the day before, I sure did cook. I cook a nice meal. Um, it was... I, I baked cornbread. Um, no, you it didn't was, make cornbread yesterday. I said the day before. Oh. It was butter beans. Um, I seasoned it. I seasoned the beans with oxtail seasoning. I had Ew. bell peppers and onions in it. It was so good. No, it was not. And I had kale on the side and some sweet corn also on the side with rice. It was so, so good. But the man said, I don't cook. He and don't he had to cook his meal last night. I'm like, bro, it's not, I'm not going to be the one cooking all the time. I'm also working. It is too much work. I'm not about to, like, overload <laughs> myself. I'm not doing that shit no more, man. For real, for real. I mean, we are, like, if I was not editing and recording hey. and, um... <laughs> Yeah, I would have time to do all that, but I just don't have time to do all that stuff. Time has changed, and I, you know, I feel like it is okay for Craig to cook <laughs> once in a while. I'm talking. Stop behaving that way. Can you just stop? That's enough now. I feel like it is okay for Craig to um to 
to cook once in a while. You come home from work, damn, you frying the butter? Just, mm -hmm. I just went in the saw. Oh. It's okay to come home and just cook once in a while. She have to be doing all the cooking all the day on time. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair. Shoot. If I was not like working, like editing, recording, then you know what I'm saying? I would see, but I'm doing my damn best and I'm not about to overload myself to kill myself. Because you know what? Studies have shown that women are the first ones to die in marriages, okay? And this chick right here ain't dying no time soon and I don't plan on doing it because I'm not about to stress myself out. Be quiet. So that's just, you know what I'm saying? So that's we had a little disagreement this morning. Oh, like, right. this morning? No, I said disagreement. I didn't say fighting. Oh, because I didn't hear nothing. I was, I was That's what we could go to bed at 1 o'clock, but I went to bed around 12 30, bro. I'm just, I was tired. And bored. <sighs> and I didn't want Bobo to jump scare me. So go I, where? I was, I, was, I, didn't, I went to bed. That's what we could go to bed at 1 o'clock. I went to bed around 12 30. That's good. Because I didn't want Bobo to jump scare me. So. Who, who is Bobo? Bobo, my friend. Bobo the fool. Okay, I don't, I don't got time for nonsense. <laughs> So yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm mm -mm. Let's sure not doing all that. Viewers, y'all want to drink I'm some butter? I'm not doing it, bro. Want to drink some butter? I'm not. I used to do so much. I'm no man. Damn. Mom, mom, I need to taste something. Can I say something, please? What is it? I don't think the I do cook. Oh, I don't think the viewers really care. What I don't. Let me. Let me. Let me. <laughs> Christina, please don't. I'm not in the mood to be like. Oh. I'm not. What happened? Not today. Talking about this is pissing me off already. Okay, then stop talking about it. Like, I don't think the viewers really care. The viewers just want to see the cornbread making. Do y'all? Yes, they do. They don't, they really, they're nosy, but like, <laughs> I don't think they really care about your marriage. I mean, they do, but like, come on now. Oh, I, mean, they, I don't think they care about the problem. Hell, I'm like. <sighs> Do we have to go on the road today? It's bothering me because look at how I'm yeah. measuring. <laughs> I'm actually trying to get accurate measurements here. No, I don't want to go anywhere today. I want to eat my food, go downstairs to the classroom, edit. No, wash my hair. No, I said I wanted to see you. And do my hair. We need salt. Hush. Should be good. You'll be nice. We're not doing that today. How many um teaspoons? Six. This is this is the wrong. Oh no, this is the right one. Yeah, that's the only cornbread recipe that I found. I was searching through the entire recipe book. It took me about ten minutes to find this one, viewers, bro. Okay. One. Two. Two. It's like he cooked all the dag on time. <laughs> like what the hell, How bro? How can he? And he's always on work at work. I'm not the speaking to you. The other day he came home. This man cooked a full meal for everyone. He cooked like some beef. He cooked jerk chicken. Go to right. I will mind my business when my mom is talking. But if you're speaking out loud, no, no. of course I'm gonna say something. <laughs> and these are my people too. These, those are my viewers. Go ahead, speak your mind. I ain't about to. This man cooked jerk chicken. Last time he took about a week off. He cooked jerk chicken. He took a week off. Yes. He cooked a lot. He, he cooked. He legit cooked the entire yeah, week. That's like because Craig loves to cook. I'm not about to stay, stay in his way. If he want to cook, go ahead and cook. I'm not about to. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to stop nobody from cooking. Come on now. Viewers, look at my one. Cook, let me cook. Craig chose to cook. It's plums. Craig loves to cook. Can I help now? Yeah. What I'm what I'm saying is that we're in this marriage together. Yeah. It shouldn't just be one person cooking. Yeah, it shouldn't just be one person making the money. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's it. And I I've never stopped doing what I'm doing. Like I've never stopped trying to like help him out. No. Nope. It's on both parties. See mom, no offense though, but um Christina Christina. But um I just wanted to know, can I help you um get the cornbread? Go ahead, put the sour cream in there. Great, hey. Yeah, put the half cup of um, maple syrup. Can you give me the sour cream, please? The subtle cream? This is not enough. Yes, it is. Put all of that. I He's said that's not enough. What? Come talking about I don't cook. 
Do you overlap it a little bit or you No, that's not that don't like X don't put extra. Mm -mm. There you go. That's a lot. No, it's not. No, that's why you brought two. Who me? Because mm -hmm. almost almost finished. Yeah. You were talking, I don't even know how much baking powder I put in here. I hope I put enough. You did. Okay. I need my stand so you can see. Hold on, y'all. I will be right back, okay? Satisfying ASMR. The viewers don't want to see my mouth. It's What is nasty about this? Where? That's it's brown and there's holes inside of it. The girl trashed the strawberry pizza there's looks like this. There's holes inside of it. Where are the holes? Look. What, what the? What this? No. Look at that one. This. No. That okay. Also show brown. me this one. Where's the holes? Right there. Okay. Right there. She said there's holes. Yeah, That's but I'm not eating look. that. I can eat the strawberries that have nothing like that. Cause there's no way I'm trying to get poison. You're not gonna get poison. You better not trash all food anymore. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Um, is this good or need a little bit more? This stuff is not cheap. Are you yeah. gonna start buying fruits? Why? You could buy the cotton candy grapes. No. You could buy the cotton candy grapes. Uh, 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 emotions! Emotions, emotions! Is this enough? I'm in my feelings. Emotions, emotions. Here. I just want the viewers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see. Viewers, come here, come here. Come sit in front of me. Yes. The viewers will find where they were. No, mm -hmm. they weren't. I was too short. Here, there you go. Look at that. I can't see you. Vegan booter. I bought okay. some vegan butter yesterday. Huh? I'm about to try it. Who said we? I'm not trying no vegan. I'm not trying to take no vegan. So it says to open, lift, have, and pull. Mm -hmm. Good. Ciao. Fold it back. The it's vegan not butter. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Wow. Right, so I'm gonna try on a piece of bread. Same. Yo. Uh-uh. No, no. Did you wash your hands after you clean the floor? Yes. Ew. Yes. Oh. Okay. Come on. Look at you. Grind up. Good job. Right, Here. First. Vegan butter. Okay. okay well, I'm waiting for mom to get it on her bread. You want bread? Yes, I want bread. Here. Give me some okay. bread. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to try this vegan butter. It smells good. It tastes the same. Right. How is vegan butter made anyway? I don't know. Maybe um, it's been made maybe by vegans. Cows. Mm. Probably made by vegans. Mmm. This is so good. I need the knife. Yes, Christina, you are missing out. Come try this. It literally tastes like I would never buy regular right. butter again. Can we make that for it's, me, please? I mean, it's expensive. But... Move up. I'm going to fly. Ah! What happened? Ah! What happened? Why are you recording my pain, bro? What happened? My side. My waist. You're making my, noise, and the camera's waist, facing me. Of my, course, people's ears reaching like, what? What? My what waist. Is it? My waist. Hit this part, I went to go. I went to go back up, oh, be and it careful. slammed right into there. Now it hurt. The camera's overheating. Try. Oh yeah, Wait, that's why I turned. It's yeah. so good, girl. That's why it turns dark. Yeah. That right there says overheating. That means it's hot. The temperature. The it's just like regular butter. Mm, it's just busting now. It's just good, right? Really Buy vegan butter from Kroger. It's the best you can find it in the butter aisle. Mm-hmm. Got our french fries, our food. Ooh. The cornbread is done. It was at the 
Okay. It's cooling. A tall glass of water. Sky juice. Ew. Ew. I prefer regular juice. I prefer cloud juice. Mm. Don't you hate like when you're drinking your water <clears throat> and you have like a good flow going um, and the ice gets in your way and block that flow, <laughs> especially when you're thirsty? Mm -hmm. right. And it's hot outside too. Mm -hmm. And whenever you have that, um, Mm. Like a, um, other flow going, mm -hmm. going, and like, and there's like this big gulp, and you actually gonna take a big gulp of water, mm -hmm. and there's and there's nothing you can do, and you have to swallow it, and it hurts. Mm. Like today, that's so good. Mmm. A shark movie. Yes. I'm gonna watch like an episode two. No, one episode. You already know. <clears throat> um, Thrones. Game of Thrones. And the only reason why I'm watching Game of Thrones is because, I mean, I've seen, I saw it like years ago. But the reason why I'm watching it, I'm trying to like connect the dots, connect the pieces between um, House of the Dragons and Game of Thrones. In fact, it's a, it's a good um, TV show to watch. So, I'm about to catch up on it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, do you want to go get it for me? <laughs> Where is it? On my nightstand. Thank you.